bridging communities worldwide. We broadcast diverse international content from Europe, Asia, Africa, and now right here in the USA. Watch us via Roku on your smart TV. Submit your own content to 1530entertainmentllc at gmail.com. Download the Millennium TV app from the App Store to stream our shows anywhere, anytime. Millennium TV. Hello viewers worldwide in America. This is Noor Tafadar, Today's America and Millennium News 24-7. We have a guest, regular guest, our co-host Todd Goldfinger, Upstate New York. Viewers, we are going to talk about today. Eastern Europe, Russia, Russian Empire and Ukraine. Also European Union, United States of America. Today we just talk about politics, politics, politics. Viewers, what's happened last night? Our American time probably 10.30 or 10.45 and Russian time 5.45. Russian president ordered their arms force to attack all side to Ukraine. So many Ukrainian people died today, soldier, innocent public. Also, they destroy air fort, they destroy all army camp and headquarters, also destroy roads, bridge, highway, so many things. Russian president, he tried to take over whole Eastern Europe. This is not in 1936. 1936, they take over. They start from Bulgaria, Yugoslavia, Romania, Hungary, you know, Poland, Ukraine, then Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Afghanistan. Everyone knows what is the Russian Empire did. So we are going to talk about Russian president, what he want. He threat the world, he have a nuclear. So, so many country have a nuclear. We are going to talk about this. Mr. Todd, introduce yourself yes, and talk about what is going on in Russian democracy. Russian democracy? Did you say the words at the same time? No, go ahead, step by step. Step by step. Okay, here we are today. Um, I wrote here, it says, please help Ukraine, because I mean it. Please help Ukraine. Pray, pray for our brothers and sisters out there. Because, you know what? Here in America, it seems like they don't give a crap. We got our own problems in this and that. I understand that. 
but what affects them is also going to affect us. And if you don't know that, if you're not in tune to that, if you're not woke, then you got to maybe turn on the news for a couple of minutes and just see what's going on. I know the journalism these days is not what it should be, you know, as far as you know, Fox and CNN, but we're not going to get into that crap. Um, what I want to write, or what I want to say that I wrote down is what I'm going to speak to you now for the public. February 24th, 2022. I'm deeply disappointed in my fellow Americans who have no interest in what's going on in Ukraine. Our brothers and sisters are out there. They're dying. Uh, they're being killed. Uh, they're in the middle of a war. How does that not affect you? Are you so callous? Do you have no feeling? I mean, I don't understand these people. I really don't get it anymore. And that's why we're here today, just to just to talk a little bit, just to start a little dialogue, you know? Look, I'm not going to yell at anybody. Everybody's so afraid I'm going to yell at them. I'm not going to yell at you. But I might repeat myself a few thousand times until you get the message. Thank you. Thank you. Viewers, Russian Empire started 1936. They take over whole Europe, whole Eastern Europe, also some part of Asia. 1989, President Reagan, his help, American Senate, Congress and American people helped whole Eastern Europe get democracy. Berlin Wall gone. This current president of Russia, he was a KGB agent. Then he became KGB director. When Russia We're talking about Putin. This is Putin, yeah, right? Russian president. Okay. The current one. Yes, Russian president Putin. Still. Th then he became politician, mayor of Moscow. That time, one of the drinker president, drunk president, Boris Yeltsin. Exactly, Boris Yeltsin. I so, know who you're talking about. As soon as you said drinker and all this and <laughs> embarrassing Russia, and when you said yeah, this guy contract with National Council. This guy means Russian president, current president, Putin. Still. I don't want to spelling his name. He is the worst human being in this earth. He threatening by nuclear. So, this guy, he contract with Russian National Council. National Council invite him on the meeting. That time, National Council hear his voice. They thinking he is the smart guy, can run the Russia and world. Mm -hmm. They put him in the power, and he kick out the Boris Wilson. Mm -hmm. This is the way he came in the power. Now yeah. he is almost twenty five years in the power and that's a long term yep yeah, 2008 he attacked georgia 2014 he took attack ukraine take over the Crimea. now 2022 he tried to take over whole ukraine also step by step all eastern europe so what is our job? What is international community job? International right. community is totally divided. China support you. Uh, sorry, Russia. The inter hold on, I gotta stop you for a second, Noor, if I could. I don't. I don't want to yell, but go ahead. The, the, you, there are communities that are divided, but if you look deeper, 
and deeper and deeper, you're going to find that the global village, the global community is more united than ever. Thank you. European community. I had to correct you, sorry. Yes. Euro European countries, NATOs, America, Canada, all is together. One. Also Australia. India support, probably in Russia. They don't say anything. Region, they are part of Western belt right now. Viewers, United States government, Joe Biden, for some soft embargo. This embargo is nothing going to be happen in Russia, Russian president and Russian people. They have already trillions of dollars. Also, they have trillions of dollars gold reserve. He knows one day is coming rainy day and he going to attract so many countries and United States they're gonna take take whom take, take care of him and uh, get uh, take out him from sweep system banking system he knows that right now European Union Brussels NATO's headquarter also White House London they are talking one tone they're going to put heavy embargo, Russian economy going to be punished, Russian people going to be punished. We don't have a, any, any kind of enemy Russian people. We are not enemy anyone. We are just talking point. Why Russia doing these things part by part? It's what not Russia. We know it's not the Russian people. We uh, know that. They have uh, some interest, you know, power, powerful uh, arms industry, powerful financer, so many The people. Russian people are very good people. The Ukrainians, so, our brothers and sisters. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to talk over you. I just have to say this. I, I feel like I don't want to yell. I just don't want to yell. Is that... Viewers, our, this yes. afternoon is going to be G7 summit on virtual with our White House and President going to be decide G7 country going to be decide they are going to take out from Russia from SWIFT system. Hope Russia going to be understood. Any hmm. country attack their neighbor they have to get punishment. Why they attack democratic country, democratic country? We don't need it. We have to punish Russian government, Russian army. Viewers, I want to tell you something if we have a minute, because I, 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 I going to I going to give you the floor within second. Sure. Okay. Our American viewers, American brother and sisters. We are care about human being in the planet. Ukrainian also human being. Why we are divided? 2001 when 9-11 happened, whole American is together. One voice. And that time Republican on the power. Everyone knows innocent people who don't do anything wrong Iraq and Afghanistan we crush them we crush them millions of people we kill them this is Republican Party so-called so-called those people still is divided hopefully they're going to be understood if somebody attack America what they're going to do they need to attack, have to be together, have to be work. All American 
one boys we have to give the punished russia if anyone in america talking against rule of law rule of country they have to get punishment who they are president president ex president whatever we you guys know what i am talking about i know so, what you're talking about so uh, hopefully our american brother and sister going to be understood please go ahead floor is yours thank you sir thank you sir um what i want to say is that you know there's so much emphasis on punishment 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 what about rehabilitation what about offering other modalities what about a paradigm shift what about taking a deep breath not going to war and finding diplomatic solutions to the problem in a nice and civil way why can't we have diplomacy now i understand yes okay what about this guy who is running russia blah 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 blah, blah. anyway point of the story is we have to kind of he's acting aggressively but then again he thinks that we are too okay he thinks we're aggressive okay we have to understand the mindset not of the enemy but of the human being who's in power that's all it is is understanding the people that are in power okay understanding behavior you don't have to get inside their heads i mean you don't want to do that but the point is you want to understand their behavior you want to study their behavior you want to understand it so that you can come to a better uh, decision yourself and not go to war we must have diplomacy we must have intellectual uh you know ways of of um engaging with one another on um hopefully a, a, a higher frequency than we're doing right now because the division and all this stuff it's horrible but i'm going to let you know something there are some pretty advanced people out there in the world and you're just not seeing them because they don't need to be seen and the point is we are all doing our part to try to bring peace and prosperity to this beautiful lovely planet that we so all love we all love the planet we're all united in loving the planet so let's stop hurting the planet let's stop blowing stuff up let's stop uh, having these tirades let's stop the amoklauf in german that means these 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 you know um you know when people uh, do very harmful acts in public no more of that please we don't want it you go on zoom you go on streamyard you do a show you talk to the people this is your protest this is poetic justice thank you so much newer thank you millennium tv I'm with you. Viewers, we are going to short break. Please stay with us. Millennium TV, bridging communities worldwide. We broadcast diverse international content from Europe, Asia, Africa, and now right here in the USA. Watch us via Roku on your smart TV. Submit your own content to 1530 Entertainment LLC at gmail.com. Download the Millennium TV app from the App Store to stream our shows anywhere, anytime. Millennium TV.
কিউস আটকে গেল কেন ভিউয়ার্স উই আর ব্যাক অ্যাগেইন টুডে ইজ আমেরিকা উই আর টকিং অ্যাবাউট টুডে অনলি কারেন্ট অ্যাফেয়ার্স রাশিয়ান প্রেসিডেন্ট হি অ্যাটাক ইউক্রেন ফর হিজ ইন্টারেস্ট not a russian people interest but russian parliament upper house lower house so called duma they approve to fight with ukraine and they try to make two country individual country in on ukraine ukrainian soil U- united nation and whole world they are against of this but russian president russian armed force still fighting right now bombing everywhere also kiev capital city also capital air force they destroy so many things also viewers this party ukrainian party also shut down few fighter jet helicopters also tank eastern europe they have a lot of dead bodies eastern europe right now bbc al jazeera cnn msnbc showing these things round the clock is shameful we are human being 21st century we are like 500 years back you know seems like it seems like you it you know this is seems not like this is not this is not 2022 it's, it doesn't seem like it sorry some some have some leaders have to be wake up he have a lot of friend in the world number one friend chinese president xi jinping number two president erdogan number three north korean hmm. kim jong un number five brazilian number hmm. six is cuba also venezuela any leaders mm-hmm. the also kingdom of saudi arabia mohammed bin Sal- salman these people have to be wake up innocent people is dying also he have a good relationship our ex american president donald trump he can talk about he can do the mediator he is good seller he knows how to sell the corrupt apartment corrupt all crack properties so he crack can, houses yes and he can <laughs> you know mediate these things his party and he's a slum lord his party also his follower not party his follower yeah support, followers yeah yeah supporting him also supporting uh-huh. russia also yeah. we have a, some network called newsmax america right. one they exactly. are his oily friend you know the worst the worst so worst we say we say bottom of the they, barrel they are talking about against of democracy united states of america yeah it's not they even journalism ta- it's just they are talking fascism. about american soil so our fcc federal government have to be look why yeah, they please. are doing these things they please are fcc ag- look at them look at newsmax look at oan news i pray fcc please do an investigation please viewers we don't want to see the bloodshed i don't want If, bloodshed i want to see investigations into newsmax i i will i, I will give you the floor please Sorry, give, give, give me a second sorry, sorry. Uh, if he coming border of nato 
is going to be good exam he going to be learn whole europe united states and australia they all going to be attack him is going to be all air they going to seize all air he cannot get out from his boundary and all ocean so this things going to be talk about today on the g7 summit hopefully leader they are coming together mr todd floor is yours okay so at this g7 summit thank you is that are they there what are they doing are they giving each other awards or um um, no. What, what are they? Uh, exactly. I'm going to interfere you. Thank you. Our, our White House, President Biden, call all G7 leaders. Mm -hmm. And yes. they have a, probably they're doing right now, you know. They are mm -hmm. going to be punished Russia. How and when? This is the boys, all of them, you know. So they are together. They are working together. Go ahead. Okay, well, it seems like the Western world and, and the Eastern world are like really divided right now. Uh, and then also we're also, let's say, politically divided in our own country here in the U.S. So, um, you know, there's a lot of divisions and, and um, you know, the solutions that if you ask Todd David Goldfinger, what's the solution? Well, I'll tell you what it is, but you might not like the answer. And it's not anything that's going to be a bloodshed. Uh, you know, it's, it's about... Um, basically starting to introduce different modalities um and i'll say healthcare, um and it could be healthcare around the globe but healing people to the point that we don't go to war and i believe that psychedelics um are the pathway and the road to this way of not just treatment and rehabilitation but a new pathway for all of humanity all over the globe uh, and this will change the course of history uh, throughout the aeons of time. Uh, it will change history and psychedelic plant, sacred medicine that was given to us on this earth, on this good earth. Um, it seems to be working for humankind in the right ways with set and setting. And um, when these modalities are coming along, will be a greater, uh, I'm not just talking about the nation, I'm talking about the world. Uh, the world will be greater because of it. So once we decriminalize, and um, also this has to do with expunging of records too, because uh, you know a lot of uh, people of color have been uh, falsely uh, imprisoned uh, over uh, the decades and decades in America. Systemic racism is a big problem in our country, and don't forget about the Native American people. So there's a lot of stuff going on there, and how do we heal all this? And I'd say it's, it's through the use of psychedelics, but don't do it unattended. Wait till these modalities come out legally for you to utilize in a clinical setting, hopefully. And this will help change the world. And uh, when leaders uh, are able to access psychedelic treatment themselves, because they can afford it, hopefully, um, they will be also better off. So when, when, a, when a, a ruler or a leader of a country has a trauma, Maybe if it's a childhood trauma, it doesn't even matter what it is. And then they have training. It could be, you know, uh, things like that. Um, even KGB training with the use of psychedelics uh, can undo a lot of this poisonous and toxic uh, programming. Thank you. Viewers, we are blaming Republican. We are blaming our divided country. What is the Democrat? They're doing good job. No, all European countries, Western world, they're doing good job. No, all is running for their own self, own wallet, own money. Since 2014 to as of today, why we are supporting Saudi Arabia? Why we are helping? selling all arms, ammunition, bomb to Saudi Arabia and Arab Emirates to destroy 
Yemen. That's why now you guys is one. All Europe, NATO, America is one voice. Millions of pe young kids, millions of people died in Yemen. And Yemen is totally destroyed. It still is booming. No one making the noise. No one saying anything. Why? That's why Russia saw Western world and America, who they are. That's why he getting his time, he can take over the country. You guys cannot do anything. Anything. You guys, everyone, G7, European nation, America, so-called Western world, all is liar. They lie everywhere. Obama make whole Middle East crush, so-called democracy. Tunisia, Libya, Syria, Yemen, Mali, Ethiopia, those all, all country, Obama made these things. This is his eyes, his hand. Why we are blaming Republican? Mr. Todd, do you have any idea? Why are we blaming Republicans? Well, I say stop blaming liberals uh, because to be liberal means to be free. And if you want to be free, you are a liberal because in your mind, you're free. Okay. And that's, that's where you can be free, hopefully. If you're living in a country that's a dictatorship, you're not really free. But if the conditions are okay and you're in a good class of society, then things may fare okay for you. Otherwise, if you're poor, um, God help you in this world. Uh, it is a cruel place. People should think about this a little bit more before having babies. Um, the world is a beautiful place. There are a lot of people. There are a lot of problems. There are a lot of babies without parents. Adopt a child, okay? Please, please adopt a child. And think about that first before inseminating someone and starting a new life form in this prism, in this sphere of being, in this dimension. Thank you. You know, Todd, you are totally right, whatever you try to bring in the world software. But I am talking truth, trust, honesty. In America, Western world, European countries, everyone, they run their self-interest. Now we are show, showing on the TV what is going on all network around the clock what is going on in ukraine but same time why is bombing in ethiopia somalia and right now yemen yemen start 2013 or 14 to as of today millions of people homeless died shelter you know why? These are our brothers and sisters. So we, 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 we do not show blood. them, you know, yeah. uh, our right. network, any network, no network showing them. Why? See, this is too issue. dangerous because it's <laughs> too dangerous for the people to risk their lives to actually say what's really going on. Uh, so, uh, you know, too dangerous to go Yemen, Syria. Libya, I understood, but what about Ukraine right now? Is not dangerous? They are Married bombing. Now? Uh, yeah, they are bombing everywhere. So, Russian. Do not travel if you're an American citizen. Do not travel to the Ukraine, even if they're having a jazz festival on the West. It's beautiful. I was there. These are our brothers and sisters. These are our friends, colleagues, musicians, artists, working hard. And they're also people too. These are people. If you care about people, I understand your family is everything. Great. But these are also our brothers and sisters. How can you turn off your feelings to that? How can you be so callous and desensitized? I don't want to yell. You know, so-called NATO and America. 
what they are doing last 22 years since to 2001 to as of today russian president was his eyes he saw everything he learned everything you know whatever america and alliance did i don't want to go against the united states i am criticizing the obama administration and, and george w bush administration w was a nightmare w was an embarrassment um, and w one, one thing one thing i uh, i respect ex president administration he do not attack any country you know one thing he do not attack any country his boys he don't want to fight with any country i am not against his administration no, I, you don't see how, how another four years with him would have been completely destructive for us as well listen i'm not I, 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 for people of color listen todd 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 i don't want to yell yeah, i, don't I, I yell. understand todd i am not upset. I, I am not talking all other things I'm talking about race. all all other things he did he did so much bad things he blocked all muslim country to come united right. states and he blocked he divided the country totally he divided the country still he right. is talking against the united states this is punishment whatever he doing right now anyway but i am talking one yeah, thing he would help russia he's a uh, traitor uh, yeah listen one thing i say he do not fight with any country you know this is the only one thing he did end of the he show for attention and he's fighting for attention <laughs> end of the just show just to be relevant just to be just to have his name out there end of the show name. end of the show whatever he did january 6 is bad thing yeah bad show right whole world bad show yeah. well, how many people died that day how many people died on january 6th uh, let's just hear it real quick uh how many seven how many were injured uh thousand and hurt thousand harmed. right so, harmed 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 violence harm aggression january 6th it wasn't a happy uh, day uh, mr uh, Trump. listen you know uh, forget uh forget those things now i gotta forget that, mr trumpy uh, bear because i think he sucks <laughs> Don't say only at these things, please. Sorry. Again. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry, viewers. Uh, our co-host is may get upset. With I get upset. And anyway, you know, when we talk about racism and race, uh, do, don't, and upset on, don't upset. Don't upset on here. Our right. current president. He need support all parties. We support him now. We're supporting Republican him right now. And Democrat. Number two all american he can help ukrainian and global village hope he gonna be stop middle eastern this games right the middle eastern people not against in america who against saudi arabia we do not we help them still right now every single day we supply the arms bomb to Saudi Arabia to bombing Yemen. This is the job we do. Shameful. Shameful yeah. to administration to administration. They all lying, yeah. all lying with American peoples and world community. Anyway, Todd, yeah. right now you see all media, all countries in the world, they are wake up with Ukraine why they do not wake up the middle eastern people african people what is the issue man maybe it comes down to race race um religious uh, uh discrimination uh bigotry uh hatred uh ignorance a uh, lack of education and um uh, uh, you know poor in the mind you know, people who are poor in the mind, make decisions, poor in the mind, poverty of the mind, I would say. That's true. Thank you. Uh, you know, so hopefully our Western Alliance, right now they're going to be understood 
what they did last 21 years. They are going to get punished right now. I am not against anybody. But whatever Russia doing right now is bad thing. They threatening with, he, he threatening with nuclear. This is so much madness. You know, England have a nuclear. Norway have a nuclear. France have a nuclear. And United States have a nuclear everywhere in the Europe. So, what reason he threatening the uh, NATO? You know, NATO's have a everything. If he do one, they are going to do 20. He have to stop his boys. Anyway, he is upset with our mediator, American Secretary of State, and his foreign minister. Last he's upset with them? Last six months, they medi med mediator each other. They are doing meeting each other, but they do not come on the calculation, you know. So, yeah. they, he just see time, just time passing. Pass the time, pass the time, pass the time. What is the time? So, that's why he is getting upset and he attack probably Ukraine. Hopefully. Because he's so smart because, listen, can I say this real quick? I just want to say this if I could. Okay, go ahead. Putin is so brilliantly smart. He's a genius man. He needs to be respected. Russia needs to be respected first. You start with respect. You start with respect. You're pioneers. You were always pioneers. You ha you have a beautiful country. You have beautiful traditions. You have beautiful customs. Let us respect you. Let us celebrate Russia. Let us celebrate Ukraine. Let us celebrate the Eastern Bloc, as it used to be called affectionately by the U.S. Viewers, democracy have to be work, democratic way. If someone attack democracy and democratic, they are not from this planet. They are killing. Israel. They are from this planet and we need to respect them as such. Even our enemies, we must learn to, un if we can't understand, we need to understand their point of view a little bit. We need to maybe not sympathize with the quote unquote enemy, but understand the behaviors of different cultures that are different than our own if we don't understand it it doesn't necessarily mean that it doesn't mean that it's bad just because it's different sorry i didn't mean to raise my voice but if it's different uh, it doesn't mean viewers, it's bad hopefully our nato leader european leaders and australia asia america everyone gonna be together we can live together we can eat together we can survive peacefully in the world we can celebrate together when this stupid Ex exactly we can celebrate crap together. war is over so uh, hopefully our leaders gonna become some kind of war don't killing the innocent ukrainian right. people they are lovely people you know they respect their own self they respect their neighbor don't kill them don't destroy the country Hopefully, Russian people are going to be respect these things. Russian government also respect this thing. Viewers, today is our time is the end over here. Please watch Millennium News 24-7 and today's America. Also, we are in all iOS and Android device. Also, all smart TVs like LG, Samsung, Sony, Roku, Amazon. Also, we are on Amazon Stick, Roku Stick, Apple TV, JagoBD.com, Radiant IP TV, and Jadu TV. Viewers, our all social network address, Millennium News 24-7. Our YouTube address, News Channel M24. Our website address, www millennium news 24.com also www.millenniumtv 24.com viewers our friends colleague all engineer it broadcaster they working 
round the clock for you. Please watch Millennium News 24-7. Whatever you are, please stay, peace, love and happiness. Goodbye and take care for today.